it's Elise and welcome back to My Cupcake Addiction. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make an amazing social media breakfast. So this is a super cool way to serve breakfast. You've got a Pinterest apple, we've got YouTube pop tarts, I'm going to show you how to make Instagram toast and also Facebook waffles. If you are not already subscribed to My Cupcake Addiction, what better reason could there be to subscribe other than learning how to make super cool stuff like social media breakfast sets. Let's get started. We're gonna start with our YouTube Pop-Tarts first. So I'm using strawberry Pop-Tarts today because they've got that nice white frosting which is not gonna show through that jam layer. I've also got a spoon, a large flat square piece of white chocolate. I'm using Ghirardelli or Lint would work well and a sharp knife. I've got some strawberry jam. Now this jam, you want it to be really nice and red with no lumps or chunks. So I actually passed mine through a strainer to get rid of any chunks of fruit and I added a drop of red food colouring just to make sure my jam is super red and not kind of like a pinky colour. So for the actual play button that you would push, take your square of chocolate and this is at room temperature so mine's quite easy to cut through. I'm just going to use a sawing motion with that knife and I'm going to cut a nice large triangle shape. If you're having any trouble with the points of yours breaking, you can heat your knife up using some boiling water and then just rest it on the chocolate and allow it to kind of melt through that chocolate layer. Toast up your delicious pop tarts until they're a nice golden brown colour and then you want to pop down like a piece of baking paper or something because this is going to get a little bit messy. Take a couple of teaspoons of that nice red strawberry jam and place it down on top of your pop tarts. Spread it all out so that it's going right over the edges so that it's covering every single square centimetre of your pop tart. And then down goes your little play button and kind of push it in a little bit so that it's flush with the jam. You almost want to actually push these play buttons. Use a knife, slide it underneath and your little YouTube pop tarts are ready to go. So you can pop those over onto your serving plate ready for breakfast. Let's move on now to our Pinterest apple. All right, so for your Pinterest apple, you need one big round red apple. The rounder and the red you can get it, the better. Some cream cheese softened at room temperature. And you're gonna need a butter knife, a sharp knife, and a skewer or a toothpick. So you're gonna start by using your skewer or toothpick to scratch in the very, very first line of your P for Pinterest. So one straight line down, and then like a big curl or a circle that starts behind the line and comes all the way around the front. Don't worry if it's not completely perfect here because now you're gonna use your toothpick to go around and sort of fatten up the symbol and make it a little bit more Pinterest looking. It might pay to have a copy of the Pinterest logo handy if you're not 100% familiar with what it looks like. So I'm just going around outlining the outsides of the shape and once I'm happy with my outline, then I'm gonna use that skewer to kind of gouge out that apple. So you're kind of using it just to flick away those pieces of apple based on the lines that you've drawn. This isn't gonna be perfect, so use your sharp knife to come around the edges, and that's why I've got a really sharp knife, and just really, really neaten up those edges so your little Pinterest P is quite perfect. Now that exposed apple's gonna to start to brown very, very quickly, so work as fast as you can here and get that cream cheese in, which is going to stop your apple from browning, but it's also gonna give you that beautiful white Pinterest P. Taking your butter knife, now you just wanna scoop in little chunks of that cream cheese right into your indented Pinterest P and push it in there. So use quite a bit of pressure so it's really going right down into that Pinterest P. Take a napkin, a tissue or a paper towel and with a flat palm just wipe the excess off the apple which is also going to shine your apple and then just go and clean up your edges. That is as simple as it is to make your gorgeous little Pinterest apple. This is going to last at room temperature for about two hours otherwise it needs to be covered in some plastic wrap and stored in the fridge. Now how to make Instagram toast. For this you're going to need some Nutella and I'm using the lid of a Wilton Sprinkles container. So you're going to need however many of these you want Instagram toast pieces or a similarly sized small white container. I've got a dark chocolate Hershey's, a rainbow strap, of course I've got some bread to toast, a spoon and a knife. You want to toast up your bread but make sure that it's not on a really dark toast setting. Mine's only on like a two because I don't want it to be too brown. I just kind of want it to be that nice caramel colour. When your toast's all toasted, you want to take your Nutella and your little container. Now just spoon that Nutella into the container and the neatest way to do this is actually to sort of hold the spoon above and let it dollop down so that you're not getting it all over the edges and then smack the container down on the bench so you've got a really nice level pot of chocolate Nutella. Take your sharp knife and I cut off about a third of my Hershey's and then just grated that other side down so that it looks the same as the other side. That's going to make our little shutter. And then take some more of your Nutella with the back of your knife, so the flat side of your butter knife. You just want to cover 
about a third of your piece of toast. With this Nutella, you need to make sure that you come all the way out to the edges and try to keep that line for the top third as neat as you can. Measure out a length of your rainbow strap so it's about the same height as that chocolate strip that you've got and just cut it to size. And then you can take your little shutter and add that on the opposite side of your Instagram. Take your little chocolate pot of Nutella now, stick it straight down on top of the toast and that is how easy it is to make gorgeous Instagram toast. That way whoever you're serving it to could put the rest of the Nutella on their toast as they see fit and they can use as much or as little as they like. So if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, I'm My Cupcake Addiction. I have no idea why you're not. If you're following me on YouTube, you obviously love baking and sweets. And on Instagram, my Instagram is the place to be if you love baking and sweets. So make sure you go over and check it out. I'm gonna show you how to make Facebook waffles as the last piece of our social media breakfast set. So you're going to need a waffle maker. I've got mine preheating and you need a square waffle maker here, not a round. Or you'll need a round, you need to cut your waffles to size. I've got some waffle batter. I will link to my favorite recipe down below. Otherwise you can use packet batter or your favorite recipe. I've also got some fresh blueberries, some cooking spray, some maple syrup. I've got some Wilton Royal Blue food coloring, a knife. I've got a disposable piping bag with a small round piping tip and I've filled that with some softened cream cheese. I've also got a bit of baking paper and a Facebook logo template. You can print that yourself or else I'll leave a link to the one that I use down below, which is a good size for this. So first up, you want to take some of your baking paper, lay it down over the top of the template, and you're just going to pipe out the shape of your Facebook F. Don't try to use a Ziploc bag for this. I don't think there's a Ziploc bag in the world strong enough to pipe cream cheese. Once you've got the rough shape of the F, just use the back of your knife to smooth off the top so that it's a really nice, smooth Facebook F and you've moved out any ridges. Use the edges of the knife just to square up the edges of your Facebook F and then you want to take that second piece of baking paper and lay it on top. Don't put too much pressure here, but you just want to sort of smooth it down over the F to keep it nice and flat and level and then pop those off into the freezer. They're only going to take about 15 minutes to completely set nice and firm. While there's a setting, take a generous amount of your royal blue food colouring and just stir it through your waffle batter until it's really nicely combined. And I found that gave me a beautiful Facebook F colour. But if you're finding yours isn't dark enough, you can also add a little drop of black just to darken that blue down a bit. Spray your waffle maker really generously with that non-stick spray and then you can pour in some of your blue waffle batter. And we're just gonna cook those on the very lightest browning setting that you have available because you don't wanna brown out that beautiful blue color. Once your waffles are cooked, you wanna take your cream cheese Facebook Fs out of the freezer and you should just be able to peel them now straight up off the baking paper. Place them all the way over to one side of your blue waffles and then you wanna take a blueberry and you wanna pop one blueberry into each of your little waffle cavities, which is gonna give you kind of that darker Facebook blue and it's gonna to help to fill in all of the color of your Facebook waffles. So that's it. That's how you make an amazing social media themed breakfast. I hope you guys love this idea. I had so much fun coming up with ideas for this one. If you guys have any other ideas of cool things that you do for a social media or an app themed breakfast item, let me know or make it and post a photo to my Instagram and I'll share it. I absolutely love coming up with really cool new ideas and breakfast is like the most important meal of the day, so let's make it fun. If you know someone who'd love this social media breakfast, you should either make it for them or share it with them so they can make it at home. Thanks very much for watching.